Well, three-year-old Leah Johnson is in intensive care, Carol, here at the hospital after surgery. Now, her family members and friends are really concerned. They want to know why. She's devastated right now. She, she, she just can't believe it, the way it happened. Frank Jones, three-year-old Leah Johnson's uncle, describes the emotion the child's mother is feeling as she sits at the hospital following the little girl's surgery for a gunshot wound. The family surrounding her, helping her in any way they can. There's over 40 people here for her right now, so we just all sitting here waiting, waiting on good news. They got some good news. She came out of surgery with a good prognosis, but all still want to know why she ended up here, and police do too. Late this afternoon, they were still searching the area on Irving where it all happened, looking for anything that could lead to answers. They're still questioning six people taken into custody this morning. They believe it was a gun battle in the area, and the tiny girl was just an innocent bystander struck by a stray bullet. Somebody was taken out the trash, and the little girl ended up outside. That's what we do know based on what we're telling, they're telling us. Uh, who was carrying the child, if anybody, did the child walk out of an unsecured door? Uh, we'll get that information as we move forward. Right now, we just do know that the child was outside. Outside and now hospitalized with her family worried and hoping the violence will end soon. I just would like for these guys to put these guns down and stop all the nonsense. And other family members that we talked to they're hoping the same thing, as well as neighbors in that Avondale neighborhood. They want the people responsible for shooting that three-year-old girl caught and convicted. For now, though, the investigation continues. No charges have been filed. Reporting live from Children's, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side.